Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy, welcome to RT in the chat, welcome to everyone who is around for some more wonderful Hunter Call of the Wild. I am, I am on a super stoked Hunter bent, because uh, I got to play some earlier in the week over on, on uh, Fiend's channel, they were doing like a community open server thing, uh, and I was wandering around Australia uh, and having loads of fun. Uh, and now I'm gonna be doing some of my own. Oh yeah, uh, the game is currently firing up, otherwise, if it wasn't, I would already be showing it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really fun to watch that. I'm glad! I, I, I feel like I've accidentally earned myself a, an undeserved reputation for being good at this game. I am not particularly good at this game. I am moderately competent at this game. <laughs> Nothing more. Uh but it was it was an absolute blast. Uh I'm glad that humans were there watching. Uh I should say, like as a disclaimer, like I wasn't like officially featured on their channel if anybody who wasn't watching who is getting the wrong idea. Like it was just people who watch their streams can can join in and I did. And I won some challenges. Uh welcome to Shesko in the chat. Uh, Arty says, only just peripherally part of the film's community so far. It feels like you know a bunch of people in it. I think that almost everyone who comes in here... Maybe that's not true, actually. Certainly all of the, 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 like, the old guard, the people who've been watching me for a while, pretty much all came from uh, Fion's community, because that's where like I'm best known. <laughs> uh, we are going to select reserve. We're going to Hirschfelden. Because obviously, I was in Australia previously. It was it was nice. Uh, part of the thing is with it was it was nice to be able to kind of cut back and let loose a little bit. Because you know how I play this game. I'm very I'm very aware of conserving my need zones. I tend to not shoot too many animals in one place. I use uh, the bow where I can to reduce hunting pressure, stuff like that. Having a little bit of difficulty because my game is not full screening itself for me, and I do not know why. Bad game, there we go. Oh, and we have a Kai in the chat as well. Hi there, how's it going? It's so lovely to see you. Um, ba -ba -do. what time is it in game? It is 8 in the morning, that is a lovely time. Uh, I do need to change out my loadout. So, this is the loadout I was using for most of that stream, if you, if you <laughs> mind. Uh, if you care about that sort of thing. Uh, so Artie says, it's the Radiation Pigs. It is! We have the quest! We have the quest. I'll show you the quest. Hang on. Look. We have the, the quest for harvesting the radioactive boars. And we went to the place where the radioactive boars are supposed to be. And we didn't see anything at all last time. <laughs> so, like, presumably they are around there somewhere, but who knows where. What way is the wind blowing? The wind's blowing south currently, so we, we might we might go for another approach, you never know. Um, Kaya is ill today! Oh no! So spending in bed doing your best vegetable impression. Well, I wish you I wish you luck on the vegetable impression. Um, yeah, so we are bringing out our just default Hirschfelden. Why am I using this bow? And not the lighter bow? I really don't know. Huh. Arty says, what on earth is a triple barreled shotgun with two different bores? Oh, that! That is, hang on. That is the Grelk drilling rifle. Uh, let me see if I can show it to you. So this is a shotgun, right? And then you push the R button, and it's also a high caliber rifle. Uh, so if I go into my inventory and show you the ammo types. So it's a 16 gauge sh shotgun, which takes birdshot, uh, for the small, for the birds and, and bunnies, buckshot for little animals, and slugs for medium to large animals. And then it also takes these rifle rounds, which are size 5 to 9, which will hit the biggest game. So this is one of those few guns that, like, will do just anything. Uh, shotguns in general are great for that, but this has the advantage of the, the rifle part actually has decent range. You can see I can get up to, like, 150 meters there, which is my usual shot distance. 
for rifle shots. Uh, we have oh, a transfer. Uh, transfer has immediately redeemed a hydrate and a moisturize. Let's get these out of the way, I guess. <laughs> For the stream, thank you so much, Transfer, for being here. Also, thank you so much, Sochesco, for for your watch streak. I did not mention it when it came up earlier on my screen. Ah, uh, do do. There we go. Art says you always need to remember that pallet size increases with smaller bore number. It is a particularly strange system. Um, that's how jewelry sizes work too. Really, the the the, the higher your ring size, the more the more of them you can fit into a shotgun. <laughs> um, it is a strange system. I, I can sort of understand how they arrived at the system, but given that it sort of competes and conflicts with other measurements for the same thing, like barrel diameter or caliber, I don't think it's a good system. I don't think it's good that we still use the system. I just realized I have to get up to, to hell off my hands now that I've put gunk on them. So everyone can bear with for a sec. You're also going to have to bear with when I go on mute to have my hydrate. Do do do. Let's use millimeters, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would make a lot more sense. I mean, almost anything would make a lot more sense than what they are doing. I guess maybe I'm just using this bow because I don't have anything else I want. Do I actually? Am I carrying the? I'm not carrying the night vision scope. Um, my handgun is it compatible with the other scope? This one. I guess it must not be. No, wait, that's, that's not the one. Where's the handgun scope? Handgun scope. Ah. Oh, they're the same weight, so I guess I would be using this if I could. Uh, what, what is my handgun? Hang on. My handgun is the Sunberg 454. Got this. Sunberg 454. It is compatible with the handgun scope. Why am I not using the handgun scope? Hang on a sec. <laughs> Let's just just on the on the fly just randomly decide to completely rearrange my inventory. All right, we're getting out the lighter bow because they are effectively just as good in performance. Honestly, um, I can't remember what the actual like mechanical difference is between them. So this is accuracy thirty three, peak draw weight sixty. So this uh, theoretically has slightly more accuracy. In practice, they're both fine. Um, but that, that other one is slightly lighter, which means that I can A, swap out this sight for my handgun scope, and B, I can also bring along the night vision scope, which I don't actually use very often, but like, it's nice to have. Alright, sight, handgun scope, weapons, bow on slot 4, ammo, take or covers, bow. Amazing. We have a red box over there. This will be a good start. Oh, I need to up my volume. How's the how's the sound for you guys? Is it is it loud? Is it quiet? Could you hear that fox? Could you hear me yelling for the fox? Oh, it looks like it might be a bit quiet for you guys. Oh, okay. No, it says sounds good there. Never mind. Ignore me. All right. And yeah, we'll set off. I'll see if I can. What does the fox say, Oh no! I'll see if I can blat the fox, and then we'll head over to our pig area. The call for the fox sounded like a cockerel. Apparently, it's a distressed rabbit. Uh, in fact, it's called Predator Jack Rabbit Caller. There we go. Using the sound of a distressed jackrabbit. There's a thingy over here. It is the worst noise. It is a sound alert on my channel. If you scroll down to the sound alerts panel uh, at the bottom, 
it's one of the ones that you have to pay actual real money for because earlier this morning. Dear God. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. Is it ever a noise? God, I actually need to turn up. Oh, I, I, I want to have the volume up so that I can hear animals if they're wandering around or munching. I want to hear their footy steps and stuff. There we go. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, oh, I did not realize this was the... the Oh, I've not put the sight on my bow. Okay. <laughs> when I changed my bow, I forgot to put the sight back on. <laughs> I got very confused there for a sec. Luckily, I still managed to hit the fox. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was nearly a disaster. Uh, oh my goodness, we have a Boom Boom in the chat. Hi, Boom Boom. It's so lovely to see you again. With a five stream watch streak, no less. Streaking their four boobs. <laughs> well... Obviously, as this is Twitch, I am supposed to say, uh, uh, goodness put those away, and other such things. I'm not going to, but I'm supposed to say it. Ah, oh, we hit it a little high. That's fine. Oh, 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 where are you, where are you? Let's see if I can get this one as well. I just got an achievement. I think that was for, for hitting something without using a sight or a scope, I'm guessing. What was that then? Daily. Palace Wildlife down without using any weapon attachments. I see. Yeah, no, not something that I do tremendously often because iron sights are completely unusable basically, on anything, in any video game, and also in real life. Wait, I nearly had something. There, 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 there. I don't want that, I want that gun. I don't know if I hit that. Ah, uh, Transfer says I'm not paying real money to Twitch to torture you, I can only that for channel points. It's true, it's true, you can. Um, oh dear. I don't think I did hit them. Right. Where are we? Oh no, that's blood! I hit them, I just didn't hit them well. They have died. Fox is dead. I would have liked a better shot, but the fox is dead. Let's hope it wasn't a good fox, eh? But I'd hate to mess that up. Oh, this is a lovely, nice little clearing, isn't it? My goodness. This is gorgeous. I love this. Hit up the butt. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think it's, that's a relatively survivable area to get hit if you're a human, because it's all kind of just like fat tissue and muscle tissue without too much vital there. Because obviously, further down your leg, you have big old arteries that you really don't want to get hit. Um. I'm assuming it's this track next. These open areas of Hirsch are absolutely lovely. It's just a sh shame that there's never anything in them. <laughs> oh. Well, this is a this is a good start. This is a good start today. I am quite happy with this. So what are, what are our... I never check out the daily, like, weekly quests, whatever. Oh, no, this is an old track. This is not the next track. Okay. So where did you go from here? Uh... Ah, over here. God, that was well hidden. 
That little purple speck there. Yes, okay, so, right. This is the Peter St. Cal room. We've been here before. So, what other things? Harvest wildlife without we weapon attachments. That's going to be rough. Harvest wildlife down from 150 meters away or more. That should be relatively easy. Harvest wildlife with uncommon or rare fur color. That's entirely luck dependent. And then no community events. Sure. How are we doing? We're below half health. That's good. Not too much further. Oh, it's just such a lovely day in in non-specific Germany. Has that cleared away the last of the no, it hasn't quite cleared away the last of that hunting pressure. Oh, uh, a dead fox. Amazing. Alright, let's grab this person and then... Person? Let's grab this fox and then... See where I want to go. I think I want to fast travel to here and then go to here. Probably. <laughs> X person. Sure. Because they dead. Yes, indeed. <laughs> a great thing to put in like in, in, in a, an article about someone like Henry Kissinger former person <laughs> okay, where did we get him? yep oh we didn't even get him up but we got him in like his tail which is unfortunate oh well never mind there's no one else around here let's go by the time we get there, we'll probably, um... The wind will probably have changed anyway. The wind has already changed. Oh, this is like a cute little... Like, this would be a nice place to actually camp. <laughs> I did sort of wonder about that as I was using it, but it's the, it was the best example I could think of for somebody who died recently who everyone would know was dead. Like, it was that or Margaret Thatcher. And, like, they're both... <laughs> they're both pushing the line of humanity. <laughs> and not in a not in a forward direction. <laughs> Trans rights! <laughs> Unless there's been some big news that I haven't heard, that isn't actually confirmed. I don't even think it's particularly likely. <laughs> it is kind of amusing. I I do sort of worry though in a way that like she might actually be very sick or something and you know, all of the, the speculation and conspiracy theories are going to force her to do stuff that she's not currently fit to do, so that she can be seen. Because, because people are, are getting antsy about the fact that she hasn't been seen, so... Like, that's the sort of thing that concerns me. There is a rabbit burrow here. Are there any rabbits near it? Any rabbits? I really, really wish we could mark these on the map so that I knew where they were. It's super annoying that we can't. I don't even know if the rabbits on this map leave need zones, like regular need zones. Now it says, most likely to know you've seen... Ah, oh, she's had a hysterectomy and they don't want to admit it. I, I can't remember what it was that she was off with. Like, when, when, when it was acknowledged that she was away, and they said, oh, she'll be away for sort of a few weeks or maybe like a couple months or something. Is that, is that, was that a, a condition that one might need a hysterectomy for? Planned abdominal surgery. I see. Okay. 
I mean, on the one hand, it would be a very strange thing to not want to admit that, that she'd had a hysterectomy. But also, this is the palace, and they regularly do strange things for PR reasons that normal people wouldn't consider to be a PR problem in the first place. Um, it says, apparently the recovery can go very skew with. Ah, that's not good. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, she is not a person whose importance is proportionate to the amount of coverage she gets. Like, I'm not going to say she's an unimportant person. I'm not sure I believe in, in people not being important, but like... You know, what does it matter that she's not around? What does it matter that she's not attending functions as a royal, really? The answer, not much. Um, this says, imagine if the Photoshop fiasco was the thing to bring down the British monarchy. Uh, I, I know lots and lots of people have been joking about the whole Star Trek Irish reunification of 2024 thing. And, I mean, for my part, I've been a supporter of Irish reunification since I was old enough to understand the concept. Like, I think it's just a sort of a basic, fundamental decency thing at this point. Plus, I can't blame anyone for wanting to get out of the UK. I don't genuinely think it's likely to happen this year. I think this year could be a, a moment for significant movement in that direction. And I think we've already had. Didn't we have, like, some noteworthy thing with Sinn Féin in the Northern Irish Parliament already? They, they won some noteworthy milestone or, or major victory or something? I can't quite remember. Um, so yeah, I'd love to see it. But uh, I don't honestly think it's going, to happen. It's, it's going to happen. I don't think it's particularly likely. I think even if... Even if it were something that there was a prospect of, I think we would just have a reopening of military, British military intervention in Northern Ireland, and possibly even in the Republic of Ireland if things got real bad. I think I think Britain would send in the army before they just let Ireland walk away. I think the same is true for Scotland, actually. I think if there was ever a significant prospect of a Scottish yes vote winning uh, a referendum. A, they wouldn't have the referendum in the first place, and we've seen that at the moment, that they're doing everything they can to avoid another Scottish Indy ref. But secondly, I think if, if, a, if the vote did come back yes to independence, I think they would send in the police and the army to round up pro-independence dissidents, basically, before they actually let Scotland go. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's too cynical of me, but I don't, I, I don't think it is. <laughs> Matthew says you're not sure they want the optics of doing that after Bloody Sunday. I I think at the moment the police and the army, like the heavy-handed use of the police and the army, is not seen by the government as being bad optics. I, don't, I, I think that's true of the Conservative Party and also of the Labour Party that will be the next government. I think they think using the police to beat down on the, you know, the undeserving, as it were, plays to their favour with the kind of voters they're trying to court. And I think the media will absolutely lap it up. I think the press will be absolutely on side and portray in the most pro-government light possible. Transfer says if the UK sends uninvited troops into the RO, it's going to be a really weird set of alliance treaties triggering. I don't think they'd ever like. I don't think they'd invade the Republic of Ireland. I think they would. I think they would do a a sort of a special military operation that happens to be cross border. 
um, because you know they they are pursuing obviously terrorists. This was what people who are pro Irish reunification are in the government's eyes. They are pursuing terrorists who are operating across the borders, and so obviously British troops have to follow them. Um, ah. And it says, can we really make judgments? Oh, hello. Bird. Pheasants. What, what's my pheasant gun at the moment? I am not well equipped for pheasants. My pheasant gun is the wasp, okay. Um, Bloom says, can we really make judgments about the theoretical labour policies? They haven't had power in 84 years. It's only been 14. And I think that it's relatively easy to see the kind of politician that Starmer will be when he's in power from the kind of politician that he is now basically knowing that he's going to be in power. Like, you know, he, 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 he at the moment will be the next Prime Minister no matter what he says or does. He could choose to do whatever he wanted. So when you look at the things that he does choose to do, I think those are the things that really, like, I, I don't think there's any good argument for those not being what aligns with his views, his morals, his attitude to power. And what his current attitude to power is, is quash all dissent and dissidents, both within the Labour Party and also you know, support policies that quash it in the general public. Uh, in, in a quite frightening and authoritarian way. I didn't say that, Boom Boom. I didn't say that at all. I just, you know, I I am not currently feeling optimistic about the next five years. Okay, about a hundred meters away. In this direction. Come here, you little pheasanty swine. I know I'm not actually going to be able to shoot you. I don't even think I'm likely to see you. But I'm going to try. I, I think also it, it's particularly important to sort of say because there's still a lot of people who think that Starmer is going to be like... They think that Starmer is going to be a progressive leader, and they are lending him votes on that premise. You know, they think he is going to be in some way better than the present government, and and people are voting for him. So I think it's important to sort of point out that there is no real likelihood of him being better than the present government. And that I think that people should vote accordingly, i.e. not for him. Yeah, footsteps. I hear a road here. Do I hear footsteps? No. I don't think I do. Well, um, do I hear footsteps that aren't mine? Okay. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? This is not a bird track. That's a bird track. Birdie went this way. Or a birdie went this way. Yeah, I will, I will, I will... Oh no, oh no! He heard me! She heard me. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, just run. That was the wrong gun. I, 
fly. I heard the bird take flight. I didn't see it at all, which is a shame. Yeah, I, I will, I will, I will. We will hush with the politics now, though. Um, we've accidentally got too real. We're only halfway, half an hour into the stream. So there's another nice, lovely little area here. Again, there's no one in it. Where are y'all at? Oh, I suppose that was that rovia. I could call for the rovia. It might still be in range. It is, however, going to be coming from out of there, I think. Which will be difficult to see. One of the things I would kind of like to see in this game... I heard it. Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, what gun do I need for you? I need this. No, this gun. Actually, I probably could do it with a bow. I got them there. Oh, I think I did get them. I did get them. Amazing. Phenomenal. Oh, there's another one over there. Alright. Can I see you through this bush? Can I see you through this bush? Yes. second shot was the follow-up shot was a bad shot it got him in the foot the first shot was in the chest ah oh, i aimed too high again <laughs> ah we have a dummy in the chat how's it going i hope you're having a wonderful time Do -do -do. did you go down Oh, did not go down. Oh no. It was a bad chest shot. Not the kind that we want. So where... Where, where were you? Where, where were you standing? Okay. Two no organ hits. And it hasn't died. Uh... I might come back for it, possibly, then. Oh, thank you so much for the hydrate, RT. Keeping me, keeping me well watered. Oh, there we go. Doo -doo -doo. The, uh, the last spotted animal tokens just disappear, even when the animal has died, and I don't know why. I wish, I wish you could like pin. I wish you could pin stuff like that, and I wish you could have more on-screen map tags. Oh, hello. Come on. Come on. Ah! I didn't get him. Did I get him there? No, I did not get him there. I thought I might have hit him with that last shot, possibly. Ah! It's a tough job catching a pheasant in flight. <laughs> I really thought I had him there when he, when he was taking off. I really thought I was going to get him. 
but I did not. Okay, we are now about to enter the area where the radioactive bores are, supposedly. Or at least I assume that's what this area is marking. It doesn't actually say go to this area in the mission, it just says hunt them. Um... Yeah, we're gonna just head head in this direction. What way's the wind blowing? It's, just, uh, it's not an ideal direction for us, but it's okay. We'll just head in this di direction, go straight up through the middle, see if there's any pigs around. Because there, there were pigs that we heard last time, but they were on the move and they got away from us. And there's a wild boar zone here that is active now. That's actually where I want to go. And once we're sort of moderately close to it, I don't want to be firing any guns either. Maybe I should just have the Grelk as like one of my main guns for Hirschfelden. Because like having a shotgun on hand for birds would be tremendously handy. Okay, there was a point in, in when I was in Australia on Wednesday where I blasted down like three out of a flock of four of the... Is it quail? I think it's quail. Whatever the little class one bird is in Australia. Um, and like it was, I, I'd never done that before. <laughs> the only time I, I ever managed to, to shoot that many of a bird was when I was goose hunting that one time. Up in my dedicated goose hunting setup. Uh, but it was with a shotgun, I was like, oh wow, this is, this is how it's, this is how you're supposed to do it. I managed to pick up two of those as well. It was very sad. It's called Bird Shop for a reason. I know it is, but I, I'm i a rifle human at heart, I guess. Even though this isn't like my number one favourite rifle. This is this is a rifle that I quite like, actually, the Solar Kit, because it has a, an unusual class list, which means that it pairs really nicely with the Wasp. Um. The Grout probably is objectively better because it, it helps you hit the the class nines at some moderate range, but it's because it's not got full rifle range; it only zeroes up to 150. It's like, uh. Hello, this for four R. Hi there, Sarah Kramus. Thank you so much for subscribing for seven months. That's tremendously generous of you. But yeah, like, I, I wouldn't be able to do this, for example. You know, pop these guys. What's that noise? Is that, oh no, that's not a, a, a pig. Oh no, they're running away! He's running away. Okay, well I can go for the pheasant again instead. But also, how close are we? Okay, we're not that close. I thought for a sec you were about to fly there. I was about to be tremendously upset with you. What is the max zeroing on this? This goes up to 150, okay. People are upscaling it. Yes, I like that. I like that. The shotgun Sally. I also don't want to take too long doing this, going after this bird. Okay, we're 
gonna go for 160 meters, so I'm not too low. I'm fairly sure it should still hear me whistle. I think. Maybe not. Okay. Gotta find another way to spook it. I'm also gonna see if I can still see it while I'm down low. I can. Okay, we're gonna put one shot near it. And it's gonna fly away? Question mark? Come on, take flight, take flight. Come on, no, don't run! Don't run! Fly, you fools! Oh, bloody birds. No, it just it just ran. Amazing. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. <laughs> My one nemesis, a, a bird that runs instead of flies. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we tried. We gave it a good go. Who did I spot over there, maybe? There's someone. Oh, there's a Canada Goose in that direction. Oh, I think that might be too close. I think that might be too close to be able to shoot it with a rifle round. How far is it from here, actually? It's 300 meters from here. Yeah, no, it's too close to that. Um, let the emu get anywhere near this. I would, I would definitely lose the emu war. <laughs> I think that's what we've established today. Um, Jessica says they have adapted. Oh, I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to think I was imposing some sort of selection pressure on the pheasant population, but I think I've only killed about two of them. Certainly not more than ten. Um... So I, I don't think my selection pressure on the population is particularly noteworthy. There they are. <gasps> Pigu. The radioactive Pigu, 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 Pigu. I told you they wouldn't glow in the dark. Amazing. Pigu, 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 Pigu. Pigu, Pigu, Pigu. So I think you could be an emu in hand-to-hand -hand combat because they don't have hands. Don't they have talons on their feet? <laughs> I think they would mess me up. <laughs> His feet. I don't think emus know enough about the rules of hand-to-hand -hand combat to know that they're not allowed to use feet. <laughs> It'd be penalised by the ref. Yes, and I would have multiple lacerations. I mean, also, wings. the wings of a bird are hands. I don't know how strong their wings are. They might not be very strong. But lots of animals have more upper body strength than you'd expect. So I'd be the one who just post water. <laughs> Are feet bad in hand to hand combat? I thought that just meant no weapons. In a in a in an unusually literal interpretation of the phrase hand to hand combat, I guess they would be banned. Okay, we've got two piggies here. That was a terrible shot. Okay, the first one actually wasn't a terrible shot, but I missed with the second shot. So I only got one piggy out of five that we need. But now we know where they are. This is just handball rules. I did only see two of them. The question is, if I leave and come back, will they come back, or do I now have to track them? Because tracking a, a herd like this can be a pretty... a pretty thankless task. Alright, where do we get? Oh, we got right in the heart! I thought that was a bad shot, that was actually a great shot. 
Alright, one down. And did I see... I did see a few out here. Right. It's a very iffy zone. We don't want that. Where are the pigs? Pigs. Okay, let's see if we can follow the trail of this pig. Two pigs. It just says that someone who has drawn a lot of bat and bird wings use their hands. <laughs> oh, King Girl is here. Hi there, King Girl. How's it going? Do they have to be my own feet? If I bring in someone else's feet, can I use them in hand to hand combat? <laughs> oh no. Uh. And here the pig trail sort of almost just ends. Um. That's not bad. Ah, uh, but yeah, welcome, King Girl. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So we load them screen tip bullets deal more damage when they hit their target. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but the oh, hello, the the hitboxes on the hitboxes on the bird class animals are really generous, and you can get a shotgun kill when you don't actually hit the thing at all. Um, so he says, you think that pig will live long with a 6.2 million doll in its heart? Okay, fair. Fair point. I just didn't think I'd hit the heart. I thought I'd hit the... I thought I'd hit it in its cheek. So, like, its skull, which is a, a doubly bad place to hit it. One, because it won't kill the thing very quickly. And two, because it messes up your trophy score. So active is this fine depleted uranium rounds? No, I'm firing at the depleted uranium pig. Um, the pigs are radioactive because they've been eating mushrooms contaminated with cesium from the Chernobyl fallout. <laughs> yep! Yep! <laughs> I think it says, do you know if the pigs are depleted uranium, maybe it's still enriched. Well, I think the cesium is, is, is part of the depletion, right? The uranium splits into cesium as part of the radioactive decay. Uh, I don't know where these pigs have gone. They seem to have not left any further tracks. Oh, hang on, here's a track. I like how I, I lose the track and then immediately find it after I say I've lost the track. I'm good at that. There's a pheasant nearby. I don't know where, because it, it, it can't get the proper call out. Although he says, I thought you just like shot deer in this game. You do mostly just shoot deer in this game, but the missions are quite good about giving you like reasonable justification for why you have to shoot the animals in the missions, which I, I kind of like. Like, it, it makes you feel less like a violent psychopath roaming the German landscape with a rifle and shotgun. <laughs> uh, so he's off now. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have enjoyed the uh, the entertainment I have brought you today. Thank you so much for the hydrate. I'm going to be bursting for the loo by the end of today's stream, aren't I? <laughs> Jessica says, I'm just quick on giving up. I, I didn't think I was normally. I think these these tracks are just a little more spaced out than I'm perhaps used to. Uh, Transfer says, you put us not to use high explosive rounds to hunt the boars. <laughs> Luckily, they don't, they don't have those in this game. You could mod them in, but as I, I've sort of said before a number of times, the community is really unfriendly towards modders, and I really don't like it. I think it's really bad, the attitude the community for this game has towards modders. Ooh, the pigs have stopped running. Which means we might be able to make up some ground on them. Uh, Mother says, of course you're competing with other streamers for number- Unless <laughs> you're competing with other streamers for number of kills. I only won one of those, no, two of those challenges. And one of them it was because I just happened to have killed a bunch of things but not picked them up yet when the challenge got started. So I, I basically started with like a two point lead out of four. 
City of Doors is an actual beast at this game. I have no idea how they killed that many things that quickly, and also had time to run around after Fion trolling them with the remote caller. Like... <laughs> I mean, I didn't cheat. I had no control over when the challenge got started. And I was very careful, like, even though I did sometimes ask for challenges, I was very careful not to ask for challenges when I had animals lying around on the ground waiting to be picked up. Because that, that would feel like cheap. I just got lucky. <laughs> I should have cheated. I don't even, like, without using hacks and stuff, I don't even realistically know how I would cheat in this game. Like, even if I killed a bunch of animals and left them lying around, I'd still have to come back and find their corpses. I don't think I'd be very good at that. I have a hard time finding animals and, and things, even when I'm going from one track to the next. Let alone running away and coming back. Thank you, King Girl. <laughs> this says no clip in God mode. So uh, I think there was at least one person doing some almost certainly hacking stuff. And th that's one of the reasons why people are very averse to modding in the community. Like, I'm not going to pretend it's not completely about justification. But it's because there are people who do use no clip, fly, super speed, one hit kill mods. Uh, mods that make every animal on their server a diamond rank animal. Which is so such a stupid thing to do. Like, way to take all of the fun out of the game for yourself, just so you can show off on the Discord server that you have more legendary animals than someone else. Like, it's not even a contest. I was to shoot the animals from below the terrain. Would that work? I don't I as I'm not a, a game designer, would that would that not just clip into the hitbox of the of the ground but from the other side? Where are we where are we? These pigs are on a long walk. I told you that tracking things like this was generally a bit of a fool's game. I wanna pick up this rest zone. I'm gonna lose the P trail if I do. Uh, hello, game. Can I can I have a waypoint here, please? Thank you. Just so itself. I think that's how hackers do it in FPS games. Fair enough. You can never know without trying. I'm already intimidated by how good people think I am at this game when I'm not that good. <laughs> Imagine if I was then winning every every challenge through the use of cheats. <laughs> people would think I'm a legend at this game. I'm not. I'm just a, a fool. King of says, I'm guessing it was typically meant to stop people getting out. They don't typically have to stop stuff from getting in. True. The proper way to win this game is probably becoming an American and bringing an M60 to your hunt. <laughs> Pegu, where did you go? I suppose I could call for you actually, couldn't I? That's a good way of slowing animals down if they're ahead of you. If you get them to call, even if they don't come to you, like, you get them to stop for a bit, while they consider whether or not they're going to come to you. Egu track, where are you? Like, it is unusual for the distance from one track to the next to be, like, off the edge of the little bounding triangle in the in the hunt mate. That's uncommon. These are definitely more spaced out tracks than usual. Oh, piggy. Oh, the piggies are 
done a turn. Oh no. It's just bringing a predator drone to airstrike and cut it on the area. <laughs> That's how they make pulled pork. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Where are you going, Pigu? Oh, there's another new zone for me to add to my map. But every time I do this, I'm, I'm losing ground on the pigs. Pickles. Pickles. Where did you go? It's normally not much. There's normally not much point in following an animal like this. I will say, like this is this is a foolish thing for me to be doing if I actually want to complete the objective. Probably the best thing for me to do at this point is to go away and come back. Keep my eye on those tracks. Because those are the pigo I want. Do, do, do. Little pig, little pig, let us in. It's the police. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Was I seeing an animal there? Was that just telling me I can examine this track to come? Hello? Hang on, I'll blow me, I'll blow me pig collar. Maybe not. Maybe not an animal. Maybe just busy being jumpy. Oh, hello. Oh god, hello. Hit the uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, okay, I did hit the pig. I was like, I might have hit the rock hitbox there. But no, I did hit the pig. There's something over there running away. What are you? Where did you go? Hello? Okay, whatever it is. It's not come out the other side. Which means that's probably a death thicket. That's not a real thing. Um, okay, I don't know if this is going to count. I think this is one of the boars from the quest. I don't know if it's going to count if it's not in the area. Oh, we might just about be inside the area. We'll find out. Okay. Yeah, we clipped its lung. Wasn't quite on target for the heart, but I was blooming close. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Reacti radioactive piggy number two. Get. Phenomenal. I'll wander back and see if there are any more that have respawned back there. I'm not guessing there will be, but you never know. We've gone a little ways away now. Transfrax is running to the shop before the pinchers wake up from their nap. <laughs> ah, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for teasing King Girl in such a fashion. Okay, do we need to get a really long shot on this deer? Oh, probably not from this position. Maybe if I lie down. Maybe if I lie down, I won't be able to see it at all. Hello? Dear? Hello, dear? Where are you? Oh, hello. Oh my god, I think I got it! Oh, there's a pig over there. Where are you? Oh, it's down in that little gully. Curses. 
curses and crush it, precious. I didn't even think it, there might be a pigu there. I don't think that's one of our pigus, though. Um, I'm astonished with that deer shot. Those <laughs> deer. I think it is now. I'll go and see if I can pick up that pigu track. That was somewhere there-ish. Because that could... that we're out of the area now, but it could still be one of the ones I was after. Actually, I have no way of knowing, though, do I? It's not going to say radioactive bore on it. Oh! Oh, hello! The deer is floating away downstream. Oh my god, I actually hit across the water! I didn't even realise! <laughs> Whoops! Hi there! Oh, it was a neck shot! Oh, okay. I mean, it was also on target for the lungs, but it didn't penetrate deep enough. But a neck shot, luckily enough, counts as a vital organ hit, even though none of the rest of the spine does. Ah, oh, well, I'm tremendously happy with that! Haha! <laughs> That's also one for my quest here, with the naked eye. No, long arm of the law, there we go. Amazing. <laughs> You're a bit late, game. <laughs> I just did that. I always forget that those those rewards exist until I accidentally grab one. Fresh pig tracks. It just says wild boar. I don't I have no way of knowing if this is one of the wild boar from my target herd or not. So I guess I'll probably leave it be. Well we got two. We got we got more than I was expecting, if I'm honest. So I'm happy to go away and come back. Uh, and there's plenty of other things we can do on our, on our checklist of of like rounding up and finishing off this. Oh, hello, who's that? This this map. That must be a tremendously stupid fallow deer to come after it's just heard me running. I don't even think the boar actually was down there. I think we've already found all the tracks from this boar, so I shouldn't have been running. It was a very foolish thing to do. But I did it anyway. Medium zero, two. Medium zero armor. What's this thing? In case we pop up over here and there is a fallow deer right there. Which there is. I shouldn't that was greedy taking that second shot. I shouldn't have done that. But we got one. We got the one with the antlers. Our arrow has disappeared into the underbrush, which is fine. Oh hello. Who's that? That's a pig. As well. We did got the pig. Okay, well, if we're lucky, this will just randomly happen to be one of the pigs we're after. Most likely it's not, but we've still got a pig either way. Can't complain. Can I have this, this music, please? Oh, I can't that one over Can't complain at all. Normally, the rivers in, in Hirschfelden are a little bit tame. They don't normally have too many things in them. But this one, this one random river right here, apparently, the exception. Ooh, 
there's another, there's a little road here down there. I might want to go for. I don't know, it is in the, the, the pooping zone, which I don't want to be spawning too much pressure on. Oh, amazing. Double lung shot. Was that one of our pigs? That was one of our pigs that we were after! Oh, I'm the best! <laughs> there you are. I could try for a sneaky little 300 meter shot. Flush with, with overconfidence and arrogance from that one fellow deer kill. Well, there's a red fox over there as well. Okay. Stuff the, stuff the road deer. I want the red fox. <laughs> there's three things here! There's a pheasant and a fox and a deer all sleeping and chilling out next to each other. Aww. They're like a little happy band of friends. I don't know if I can go and shoot them. They're buddies. They are buddies. It's okay. I'll shoot. I'll shoot the goose instead. I won't. I've never. I've never tried really shooting them out of the sky. I don't even know if you can. I don't think you can. Disney villain you were born to be. I have a different stream for becoming a Disney villain. Uh, that different stream, though, is going to be on hold for a while, as I, uh, as I, me and Shaka are not doing Baldur's Gate the next this week and the week after. We are doing some Dungeons and Dragons with some friends of ours. Uh, you should all tune in, apart from Shaskor, who shouldn't tune in because you should be in it. <laughs> Uh, Shaska has wonderfully been providing us with lovely little chibi art of people's characters, uh, which is great. And I'm so looking forward to this, like, being a thing. Okay, I think, I think we're gonna... <laughs> what about this D&D game? Uh, I think we're gonna head down here and start from this outpost and tag this line of three... Uh, unknown interest points. I think that's going to be our plan because I, I want to get the map like finished. You've been drawing all week. I've been drawing all week. I'm not drawing now though. Um, <laughs> that's a secret. Ooh, interesting. See, uh, I realised we actually we didn't do a proper kit fixing at the start, so I don't know how much ammo I have for one thing. Uh oh, I desperately need more of these, the two two H poly tips. I need more of the seven point six two uh, bullets. Uh, actually, I say that it might I might not if Coleman has a better bullet. No, these are the right bullets. Okay, I need more of these. And I need the Solokin bullets. S -s 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 Solokin. This is the only bullets you could get for this. Uh, then it says Shasko's character stood up the bodies of the rest of the party. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> with the dramatic reveal of the century. Oh, I know what you're drawing now. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Well, at least I think I do. At least I think I do. Uh, what other ammo do I need? These are fine because I'm hoping to get better bullets for this gun. And I'm actually good on arrows. Okay. We don't need that much of a kit fix. Impromptu kit fix only an hour and a quarter into the stream. <laughs> Oh, hang on, wait, 
done something. Oh, the, oh, the call, and I missed it because I was stretching. Oh, no. <laughs> Ugh, I didn't recognise the call. <laughs> so it could be a red deer. It could be a fallow deer. I think it's unlikely to be something else. I see who's calling. No, they do not have caller ID on. I will say, I think it's I think it's wrong, like like unjust the it's possible to withhold your number when you call someone like that. I don't know, that it, I, it sits uneasily with me. Maybe it's just because it, it gets used by scammers a lot. But I... It feels weird, conceptually, that you can... Because, like, calling someone on the phone is, like... Demanding, like, their attention. And the fact you can demand someone's attention in that way, in such a, such a sort of dramatic way, and not even, like, announce who you are. And the fact that I can be called by someone and not know who is calling me as well, like, that doesn't sit well with me. I think I ought to be able to know who is calling me if someone is calling. Like, someone has access to my private phone number? I should know who they are that has access to this. Or at least I should be able to opt in to, to having uh, blocked numbers call me. The same way you can opt in to having like anonymous asks on Tumblr or something. I don't know if I am opted into having an office arse on Tumblr, I don't think I am. Is that an animal? No, that is a bollard. <laughs> Significantly more resistant to being shot bollards than animals. We're in bison territory, are we? Interesting. Actually, I suppose this is perfect bison environment, isn't it? Which is odd, because you'd think bison would stick to, like, the open plains, but I, I always follow them through forests. have a, a hunting stand at the top of it, looking down. So maybe this will be a good place to shoot things. Jessica says, there are apparently services you can pay to hunt down all the people who have your contact information without your permission and have them remove you from their mailing lists. There are, and if I got cold calls regularly, I probably would do that. As it is, I don't know how much they charge. That would also be a major point. But I, as it is, I don't get cold calls very often. Even even from number withheld, like, numbers. It's more the, the concept of it that kind of spooks me. <laughs> you know, because you can, you can do, you can say some really nasty things over the phone the same way you can in, in anonymous messages. And most other electronic forms of communication don't let you be anonymous, for good reason. 
Like I said, you just need to make sure that the cold claws aren't paying them more to make them an exception. Yeah, I, 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 having not ever needed the services of a, a company like that, I have no idea how trustworthy they are. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Red deer. Just the two of you? I think just the two of you. You're a little far away. You're moving a little quickly. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's a new one. Just saw some another head poke up. Hello, are you coming closer? Oh, you're both coming closer, okay. How much closer do you fancy getting? Ah, there is the male. Oh, that's a melanistic one, I think. This, this could be exciting. I haven't got a got a rare fur color of an animal in ages. Ages and ages and ages. So this could be a very exciting kill that we've just made here. I th think that's a splat from two? I'm not quite sure. So I think we have got both of them. We'll have a look-see. Are you? <gasps> Yes! Oh, a melanistic red deer! And we just about managed to catch it in the neck, luckily. Otherwise, that would have been a mucked up shot. Amazing. Let's taxidermy you. Phenomenal. Okay. And that should be, I think, one of our hunt club awards for this week, right? Yes! Amazing. And then, where's the blood splat here? That's a good blood splat! So this has almost certainly gone down. The question is, which way did it go? It went this way. Oh, excellent! I, I, I sort of was processing the fact that the, the female was a melanistic as I was taking the shot on the male, I was like, wait, damn, I shouldn't have shot the male. <laughs> I should have just focused on the female. Uh, oh, you're going a very funny wonky direction. Which is confusing and bamboozling me. Is this the next track? Or is this a completely unrelated track? This is out of trot. This is an unrelated track. Okay. There. There's the next track. Probably. Hopefully. The rest zone. Maybe this isn't the next track. Hmm. Tremendously vexing. <laughs> what are these deer doing? Okay. No. This is another wrong track. So I'll grab the need zone. Okay, there's blood, so we are going the right way, 
The steer is just trying to confuse me, and succeeding in confusing me, in fact. So are we going away from where I want? We are sort of going away from where I want, that's fine. Uh, there's actually more reason for me not to run here. I'm in the middle of a big old blob of hunting pressure, so I don't really want animals stood here to shoot. Stood 200 meters that way to shoot? Maybe. But Dizzy, if they're stood 200 meters away and that's a good thing, why would you call them so that they came close to you? The answer is stupidity. That's why. No other reason. No good reason. I'm just foolish. No, no eyes on the fox yet. Grab this. Do -do -do, very nice. Clipped lung. Sign of Le Fox. Okay, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave the fox alone. I'm gonna run back across this area because, like I said, I don't, I don't really want to be shooting any more animals in this. Oh, hello. Apparently, the fox did run right up to. Me. No idea where it is though. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah. Try not to stack too much hunting pressure on top of each other. And we also might need to run to go up this hill anyway. Hello. Well, how far out are we? Uh, maybe further out than I would like. Let me see you. No, 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 don't go behind the rock. He went behind the rock. Cry. <laughs> I think I said, I can do better. For a single claim, I can track down the cold course. So they never bother anyone again, Zoe Bonk. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> huh. I'm not certain you're allowed to advertise services like that on Twitch. In fact, I'm moderately confident that you're not. Um <laughs> The part of me that is an avid Doctor Who watcher also would like to believe that violence is not the answer. Yeah, somewhere over this hill, 150 odd meters away. I hope we're going to be in for another stunning view. Shaka, hi there, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We are doing some hunting, as you can see. There is a deer somewhere not very far away over this hill. We are doing a sneaky sneak to sneak up on it. Yeah? Where are you? Oh, 
There's lots of brush down there. Hello. I hit it. I hit it. I didn't see it run. Come here, you. Come here, you. I have no idea if I hit that one. None whatsoever. There is a dog over here. I don't think I'm going to get the dog. But I kind of have to bow kill it if it's over here. Am I a better day than yesterday? Well, that is good news. Dog? Dog? No dog. Dog has deserted us. That's okay. Right, I'll wander down and see if there's stuff there to pick up. But I want to grab this first, see what it is. Uh, King Girl says, The doctor here watching me would like to believe that violence is always the answer. <laughs> it might just be because whenever I get angry, I get angry Christopher Eccleston in my head. Christopher Eccleston did a great, like, angry doctor, to be fair, when he was angry. I think it was partly because he was restrained and cheerful most of the time. He didn't get angry often. Like, someone like Eleven, who was angry quite a lot. Like, I'm not going to say Eleven did angry badly, but I think each individual time he did angry felt less meaningful because Eleven was often moody and grumpy with people. Same with Capaldi. Capaldi was, was grumpy and, and, and moody so often that you, you never you, you never thought that him getting angry was like him suddenly crossing a line. Okie dokie, let's see what this little stone has. Three melon bis. Sure. Uh can I can I okay. Sommersland, the straw fields of Hirschdorf, leads to four individual farmers by the Sommer family. Sommer is often in contact with hunters in the area to employ help with controlling the animal population so the crops are protected. Oh great, we're working for a landlord? Oh no, disaster. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we can't see anyone out in all of this area that we can see over there. Yes, has. I wonder if that's a case of length as well, though. Ah, uh, maybe, I guess. I only had the one season to get angry, and 11 and 12 had multiple seasons each. That's true, but like, like 12 is angry right from the get-go. Like, if you watch Deep Breath, he spends a lot of time being cross just in that episode. And not with people who've like done very much wrong. He just he like he comes out and he's fully saying like shut up, shut up, shut up to everyone. Right from the get-go. Oh, we have some Anna the Geese. Okay, I'll mark out those geese and then we'll have a look and see if I've managed to hit anything down here. Well, I have hit one thing at least, because we know we've got one blood spot. But I can't I can't tell if this is two animals worth of, of hunting pressure. I think it's just one. I think the doe got away from us. Oh, he says, you're already trophy hunting worth <laughs> working for landlord is better than us. Okay, fair. I can't say I can't say I'm I'm being misrepresented here. <laughs> There's a blood splat here. Do I think this blood splat is that animal? I can't see another blood splat. Oh, I can see another blood splat. Okay, we have got both of them then. I might see if I can take a pot shot at these geese anyway while they're there. 
because I don't know how far the other deer will have gone. Lovely jubbly, double long, from above. Hero says, there's now a part of me that wants to compare the different anger slash kill levels of the different doctors. I definitely don't know enough classic to compare that well. And also, obviously, like, 8 would be an interesting case, because 8... Like, if you if you count all of 8's um, audio appearances, then you've got to count everyone else's audio appearances as well, and they're done by completely different writing teams and at different times. Oh, this is a no-organ hit? Oh, that's not great. Luckily, it does seem to have gone in this direction. Which is towards the geese. I hope you intend to start off by killing someone. True. But he starts off with like it being an it like a, a noteworthy character thing that he kills someone. Three up to one forty. You're, so you're the best one we've got so far. You're a four. A level four goose. Well, I mean, I can't really say no, can I? How did I miss that second goose there? How did I miss that? Ugh, what a fool. What a great fool. Where's the where's the trail of this deer gone? I know I'm looking for a white one, but I was expecting there to be more blood, if I'm honest. Did I at least get the one goose? Please tell me I at least got that first goose. Okay, I did at least get the first piece. I have no idea where its body has gone, but I did get it. Uh, hang on a sec. Make sure I've got that labelled. Alright, we'll, we'll come back to the deer. Well, we won't, because it's been um Goose? Where did you go? <laughs> I mean it flew off. Obviously. Oh luckily it's it's left blood on the ground, otherwise I would never be able to track it in a million years. I'm sad I didn't get the second. Well, actually, that overlapped with this area more than I thought it would. So maybe that's not so bad a thing. This says you only knowledge is a bit hit there. Hello, who's that? That's a pig. -oo. That's a very, very distant pig. I don't think I could hit any of those pigs. Way for blood. Uh, hello, goose blood. Ah, oh, goose blood. Very, very distant red deer. Might just be on the edge of that range. Oh, there's the goose. Okay, we know where the goose is. We'll go grab the goose and then we'll come back for the deer, because the deer's going to be a pain to find. Uh, actually, I'm just, I'm just going to run here, I think. I think, again, we've, we've blobbed up more hunting pressure than I'm comfortable with shooting animals on around here.
I thought it would, but I, I, I blew just in case. You never know with these things. Oh, oh there was more geese! Oh, I didn't know! There was more geese! I'm a fool. I can actually hit that goose, you know? I can just hit that goose! I did hit that goose! <laughs> what the hell? This is a gold goose as well. Shame it was the, the shot just had no penetration whatsoever. Um. Well, that was a surprise. Okay, hang on, right. Can go back, find the deer track, and then put a marker over where that goose was. I was not expecting to hit that goose. I have no idea what level or anything that goose was. It was just a goose that I somehow managed to hit out of the air. This is such a long run. We've gone a long way from this bloody deer. There's a thing here as well. Let's grab this while we can. Well, mice and feed so. Oh my god, it's such a long run. <laughs> And I've got to run all the way back to where I just shot that goose as well afterwards. <laughs> Do -do -do. Now we're getting close. Have a look out for any blood. More of those pigs in the distance. In the distance seems to be where pigs most like to be. You blood? That's blood. Okay, here's the deer's trail. I know I'm spooking all the pigs, but I got a lot of ground to cover. And again, I've blobbed up a lot of hunting pressure nearby. Once we get out, like, here ish. I'll stop running. I don't actually know if this deer will have died. Okay, once I'm out of these trees. Like it probably will have? Bow kills are quite good at, at, at finishing off animals, even with a bad hit. Oh. Well, that was tremendously convenient. I don't actually know if there will be a blood splat on the ground underneath that goose or not. Them. Look at them all up there. They actually are too hard for me to hit. <laughs> Big stretch. Oh. Ah, ow. I think these fields have been well and truly emptied now by me just pouring ammunition into the local livestock. Where did we get you? Um, I mean, I feel a little cheated by that, to be honest. 
that that shot was completely on target for like the core of that animal. I think I would have just about clipped those lungs, maybe a little a little deeper into the lungs with uh with a with a bit of arrow drop. And instead, it only managed to get there. I think that's very rude of that hitbox to be out there. I'm gonna say. I'll go on record. I wonder if that hitbox is where the antlers would be if that had been a male deer. I wonder if the female deer have secret sneaky antlers that you can't actually see. Ooh, oh, sleep, sleep, sleep. Always happens on this game. I always yawn and get sleepy. Where are we going after this, actually? Um, what way is the wind blowing? The wind's still blowing southwest. So I guess we've got a bit of a choice. The obvious one to go for is that. We could instead go for where I was originally heading to in that one. I might want to pick up all three of these anyway while I'm down here. How are we doing for removing hunting pressure up here? Uh, there's still a little bit. We can still afford to spend time around here. Thought that was a bird, it was actually just a little butterfly on the screen. Or maybe a bat? I'm really not sure what those like little shapes are supposed to be. Oh, the fog is coming in though. I guess probably okay. The rain is good too. Partly because it's just nice to sit back and listen to it. And partly because I'm less visible when the rain is happening. I do wish there was a, a setting we could finagle with to make rain more likely. Because I do love the rain so much. I, I guess they don't because it has a mechanical benefit. But like, the rain we get, it just comes in such short little bursts. I'd like to have like just a day's worth of rain sometimes. Hello, are you coming to land? Probably not now you've seen me. But uh, I think you were because I got a rest zone ping off of you. Where actually is the rest zone I discovered there? Very, very far away from me. Blood? Okay, blood. That goose is eating in flight? I think the goose was sleeping in the flight, wasn't it? Here's goosey blood from where we shot the goose. Where is goosey body? 
Oh, hello, you're coming down. What distance? Definitely shooting distance is what distance? Which I'm a little surprised about, to be honest, given how close I am. Oh, come on, that was definitely in his head. Boo! Yes! Alright, where do we think this goose went from here? It's very old. Okay, it went this way. Boo! Hiss, I say! Was it ambitious of me to try and headshot a goose at 100? Oh, I bet I'm not zeroed right. No, I am zeroed right. Yeah, was it ambitious of me to try and headshot the goose at 150 meters? Yes. But damn it, I thought I'd, I'd got him there. There's some next blood. Let's pick this up. We already had that. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Shaka, sweetie. Don't cry. It's not that sad. I'm just embracing my Disney villain arc. That we, we narrowly avoided earlier. Uh, this owl doesn't have a lot of blood left in it. Where's it gone? Goose? Goose? Where are you? I don't think it's that one. I think I've got that one, right? Yeah, I've got that one. Tracking birds is a right. Wait, hang on. Was that a purple? Did I see a glimmer of purple over here somewhere? Maybe not. Maybe not, okay. Might have to do a run just to cover ground better. We're nearly there! The goose hasn't gone much further than here. If I didn't despise the, the dog DLC with every fibre of my being, this would be a tremendously useful time for it. trail. I need my torch. It's not torch time yet. Where's this blood? Odd for this goose to do like a sharp more than 90 degree turn.
See, this is a thing that I might like a mod for, is this bit of the game I don't find particularly rewarding. When the game tells you a bit of information about where the next track is, and then there just isn't one. lost this goose. I don't know where it's gone. That's a track I've already found. Shout in chat if you see anything that looks like it could be a new track. purple and not something I found before. I know the goose died. It must be around somewhere. Unless it, like, changes state in some way when it flies away and despawns, I suppose. But then why would it tell me that the goose is dying if it despawns? Hmm. I don't think we're going to find it. I do not think we are going to find it. To be rude, says Shaka. Point. Excellent point. Could that trail just be lying? Could the goose actually have carried on in the same direction it was going? I thought I saw a hint of purple for a second there. Not, not that purple. I thought I saw a hint of purple like here-ish. Maybe not. Maybe that was just this and I'm just blind. If you kept going straight, you would be over here! You lied to me! You lied to me! <laughs> okay. After a little bit of faff, one goose. Whether we hit it, we technically didn't. <laughs> like I said, the hitboxes on the birds are very, very big. And very generous. Alright, where are we going? Wind. Still northwest. I think I'm gonna go up and grab this one. It does involve tracking back through all of this stuff that we've shot before, so maybe actually that's a bad idea. Maybe let's not do that. Okay. Immediate change of plan. We're going for this one. <laughs> Tell when spring is arriving by how often I have to mute to, to snuffle and sniff. Because my even though I'm not like actively hay feverish, my nose is obviously sort of feeling it begin. Swine thing. I need to be on the antihistamines again soon enough. 
Well, I apologize for spending 20 minutes just running around in the wood. I got super spooked then by that spy and I thought that was a person. I don't know how I thought it was a person, but I thought it was a person for just the briefest moment. And got really scared. <laughs> it says the Stark's there when winter is coming. Tizzy can tell us when spring's coming. Oh dear. I just walked into that pole, excuse me. We're sort of going between fields here. So it might be some kind of bushy close up territory. This is where those far off peaks were. I mean, I get allergy related stuff for probably like 70% of the year. I, I don't know if it's so much that, that spring is coming or just that winter is over that I'm actually detecting. Because <laughs> my nose do be a hater and do be hating. Also gave me a little bit of a spook. I think I'm just easily spookable apparently today. I might need to set up a... Because I don't like hardware muting myself on my mic. Um, my mic doesn't take it very well. Often I have problems in Discord calls where there's like echo and stuff. And often that starts when I hardware mute my mic. No idea why. That shouldn't be a thing. But the echo also shouldn't be a thing anyway, so I, I really don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, I should set up a hotkey so I can just mute myself in OBS. Oh, hello. I saw someone over there. Just briefly got a little spot prompt. I don't know where exactly. But they are or were there. Somewhere. Hmm. Doesn't want to spot now. Could be on the move, of course. He could have moved out of sight. Those geese sound very close. Did they come down to left? Yes, they did come down to left. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Shouldn't shoot after one and spend several years tracking it down again. Really, should I? <laughs> it's not a good use of any of our time. Hmm. <clears throat> If I'm desperate for geese, I can always go back to our goose shoot location. Maybe I will. Maybe if we end the stream we just need like a way to kill 10 minutes. Maybe I will do that. A red deer. 
Hello, I am also a red deer, and definitely not someone calling from number withheld. Huh. Somewhere over this next ridge. Hello? It's a very distant mating call over there. Hello? Do you wanna do you wanna pop out and say hi? Yes, yes you do. Hi! You didn't go down in one for that. You did all right. Did I scuff that hit? I think I scuffed that hit. <coughs> didn't get far. But I got farther than I wanted it to. You can't quite often drop them on the spot. Oh, hang on, there was a there was a one with antlers there. Where are you? You're not you're not amazing. Oh he moved! He moved! Okay. I got the second shot, I think, in a better spot. Uh oh. Uh-oh, who's that? Who's coming? Who's coming? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa there! Whoa there! <laughs> Probably had a good shot there if I thought about it. Ah, oh, they're moving too fast. No worries, okay. Anyway, where did you go? There you are. So I just stood on you. Okay, now that was right down the middle where I wanted it. Um, and that... Nail. I shot it somewhere over here. Is that blood? No. Blood, 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 blood. I'm gonna just grab this, uh, the zone. Wangler's Bomb! Right, it's a good shot, medium bleed rate, it won't have gone too far. Is that where this is? Maybe on the other side. Ah, oh, look, the wind has swung back around to the northwest. It's a good job we didn't go for that one, as that is to the northwest of us. A sneaky little thing. What time is it? Oh, it's ten past two. Okay, we're a decent bit of the way through the stream. We've been hunting for a while. We've been pretty productive. We got three of our five boars down for one thing. We might have cleared out the hunting pressure. We have cleared out the hunting pressure there, so we could go back again. Uh, I guess we want to go from this house, if we do, though. Shut up, geese! Hmm. 
can you suggest him for a game? It's this, that one player is controlling a goose, <laughs> and it's doing untitled goose game type shenanigans, while the other person is just being a hunter. <laughs> oh, hello, who's that? Gaggle of geese. Two, 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 three there. Three there. That's the bigger three. One, two, one. You're the bigger three. How far away? 150 meters. Amazing. I managed to get that second shot right between the leg of the second geese. Goose, even. So, uh... I couldn't have made a trick shot like that if I tried. Ah, oh, yeah, look. Got them in the leg because he just started moving. But then I managed to lung shot while he was flinching. Fantastic. Where were you? You're over here. Geeses, geeses, geeses. Over in the next field. Oh, actually, there's still geeses all the way over there. How far away are those geeses? Uh, not far enough that I want to shoot them. <laughs> In my dreams, I could get a bow kill. But uh, I will not be able to sneak up on them well enough to get a bow kill, and it's obviously miles out of my way. And I think they're downwind of me by the time I get to, to these bodies. I think those guys are downwind. So many, many good reasons not to. Are there any good reasons to? Like, say, if there's a diamond hiding. Doesn't look like it. Oh, map, please? Hello, there we are. God, we have we have proper wrecked this place, haven't we? Oh, uh, though that's where those geese are. Oh, okay, that's probably an okay spot to shoot one. I was looking at the wrong the wrong spot marker. Got trophy. Oh, I've got him just as he was flying away. Amazing, in the chest. Proper nice deep penetrating shot. That's what we want to see. Okay. What is the best goose? There's a two. That's a three. I just realised earlier when I said of the two geese that were both level three, I was like, oh well that one's a 170, that one's a 140. I was reading the distance, I wasn't reading the score. The score's on the right hand side, it only goes up to like nine tops. Give me the spot on that one. What the fuck? Oh blimey, hello! Cause he just landed right in front of me! <laughs> Mad thing! I didn't have time to get out my, my bird arrows. Six to seven, or I think that one was five to seven, so I guess we'll go to that. Just over there. <laughs> Very bold goose. We'll get to like 160. Because I'm still after 
And one more animal from 150 or more meters away. So like here-ish. Just com comfortably over 150, so I know I'm not gonna muck up. Oh, there's a fox over there apparently. Didn't even know about. The pigeon just came down in our garden and I got very confused thinking it was a goose flying across the screen. Um, because it was just in my peripheral vision. We could actually go for this one now, honestly, from here. We won't be going with the wind too badly. Uh, goose, goose, there we go. Wonderful. What oh, a brown hybrid. Is that a rare colour? I don't know if that's a rare colour. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's a rare colour. I'm googling it quickly. They're uncommon, okay, that's fair. Um, oh, I need to tap back in. Hello? Can I can I tap back in please to the game? Would be nice, thank you, there we are. That might be number two on our thingy as well. Yes, that is number two, amazing. Claim rewards. Okay. Cash, we're doing stuff. Uh, we've got three quarters of an hour. Do I want to go for these? Or do I want to try for the remaining quest pigs? I think the quest pigs can wait, right? We'll see some more sights. What's that over there? Distant red deer. I'll give it a blow. <coughs> You never know. You never know with these things. The red deer feeds up here as well. Oh, hello. There's a few of you. How far away are you? Uh, probably an okay distance. I don't think I'm coming closer. That might have been a bit high. If I'm honest. That might have been a bit high. That might be a, a shoulder shot or a spine shot. Hasn't died, so probably a shoulder shot, which is a shame. Oh, yeah. No organs hit, hasn't died. Ideally, you'd follow it and kill it so it's not running around with a bullet in its shoulder. But we know that, because also in the real world, an animal with a bullet in its shoulder is a lot easier to track than an animal that doesn't have a bullet in its shoulder. Um, but in this, it's not particularly easier to, to track down and kill. Let's have a look in case that fox shows itself. Yeah, I'm not expecting it to, but just if while it's running away. Do 
doesn't work. It's kind of okay. It's fine. <laughs> Looking completely the wrong way there. Okie doke. That one next, and then we'll come down to here first to try and go. And we will never once be out of the earshot of these goddamn geese! <laughs> Bloody things that they are. Okay, that's a hunting stand. That is not something we need to concern ourselves with. So I am going to check them out just in case that hit does go down because then we do want to go pick it up. I was, I was a fool. I was panicking as I was shooting it, trying to get it to not come too close. And I scuffed up the shot. And now there's just an injured deer wandering around. I think honestly, I would not mind at all if there was a system that penalised you in probably in-game currency rather than experience points, let's say. Um, but yeah, that, that penalised you for doing shots like that, where you hit an animal but it survives, like it, it something like at the when you log into your new session. It checks your last autosave from when you quit out to see how many animals were left wounded but alive and deducts you some sort of a score penalty for that. Like a fine for the local authority? Yeah! I, I don't know if that's realistic to how these kinds of things are enforced. My guess is that in the States where where most of the, the hunting is like this kind of hunting happens. I guess it's probably not enforced really at all. Um, what animal was that? Was that another red deer? I think that was a red deer. Hello? Are you close? Hello? Yes, you are close. You're not quite in bow range, unfortunately. Um. This is why I should force everyone to get out of their unique ID number carved into it. That would be an excellent suggestion. I I have never heard that suggested before, and that's a really good idea. <laughs> oh, look, hang on, that's a big male, that's a big male. No, 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 I didn't want the gun, I wanted the binoculars! I wanted to spot the male to see how... Ah. Okay, there is a a male with big ants over there. I wasn't able to see what what actual size category, unfortunately. Oh, neck shot, fantastic! And I also hit someone over here somewhere. Uh, blood, 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 blood. If we're lucky, following this trail will put us inside. Where's that? Who's that? That's a roe deer. They're down with me. That's why they're panicking so much. So that's a nice medium bleed rate. This won't have lasted long. 
Oh, shut up! Come over here or shut up. One of the two. <laughs> I'm not actually that fast, witch. I would love to get another look at that pair of outfits to see just what score they were attached to. Might actually be worth my time following these tracks, even though, like I say, following a herd is often sort of a bit of a, 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 a fool's errand. I might do it anyway. I, I didn't get a good look, but like they looked like moose antlers, and they were on a red deer. Which is it has got to be a good sign. <laughs> right? If if the antlers are so big they look like they're from a much larger animal, that's probably a good pair of antlers. And possibly a diamond pair of antlers is, is why I'm interested. If they just happen to have gone past whatever this is as well, then so much the better. The terrain here, however, is not great. If they've gone that way, I might be able to see them. Okay, female. The male's footprints. Okay, this is the male's track specific. Not so fast about the place. Do I think that's an old trail? Or, or this is the old trail? Okay, this is the newest one. I'm guessing he's gone off in this direction. No, that looks like he's coming back this way. Oh, I might not be able to follow these. Ah, no, they've gone up here, okay. Okay, that's a red deer. A very, very, very distant red deer. Three to four hundred meters away red deer. If that's from the same herd, then there is probably not much point in following them. quite make out which way they've gone, because there's lots of overlapping tracks in different directions. This is a walk track, I don't think it's that. I'm gonna have a look over the hill just to catch what this is and see if they're over the hill. Because obviously this is a nice open spot. I don't think they are. I think that's where they went away. Hello. Someone's coming. Unfortunately, had an uphill advantage on me. I might ready my bow in case someone pops their head over the ridge. Or, well, more importantly, if someone pops their chest over the ridge. This is only a trot. A trot seems remarkably slow to be moving. Considering I did shoot at them. I suppose I only shot at them with a bow. Which, which spooks them a bit less. Ah, I got a pig squealing at me in response to that. That is a pig who likes deers. I have not, whoever made that noise, I can't see them. Where are they?
There's a road here over there. It's probably you. More footsteps coming from the direction I'm going to. So we'll keep going for now. I need to re pick up the tracks of this one. Oh, I hear them eating. Someone's doing a munch. If they've stopped to eat, that would be grand. That would be tremendously helpful. It sounds super close. They have no eyes on them at all. Oh. Is that a head I saw popping up there? Oh, just a little bit. My trail is heading in that direction. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> I mean, everyone is sounding off, apparently. Right. Lovely jubbly. Nice little road I get. Oh, that bison was apparently super close. Close enough to hear me and flee. Oh, another vehicle. I don't think I got these guys. I think they have well and truly gotten away. Maybe not. Okay, there's the red deer. It's only a level 7. I think I hit them both, though. I think I hit them both well. Give me a spot. Okay, the male went down there. I don't know where the injured female went. Okay, so sometimes following a herd can actually work out. Where was that male? I saw it just a second ago. Over here? Yes, okay. If I'm extra lucky, this will be... Oh, okay. So I think that's going to be the blood from the other deer. Okay, so a gold rank deer, not a diamond rank deer. Not particularly close to a diamond rank deer, actually. But still, a fairly large, nice red deer. Lovely long shot. Exactly what you hoped for. Right, I'm hoping there's going to be another blood spot back here somewhere. I got them both. I thought I put one shot into the male, one shot into the female right next to him. However, I don't see any blood. So mayhaps I did not. I really should have checked before I picked up the male's body, because then I could have seen where his blood spot was, and the other one would be right next to his. But I did not do that, due to having been born without a brain. It does look like only one blood splat. So that's, that's how pink a two blood splat is. This is definitely a one blood splat. So maybe I didn't get the other one. Okay, no worries. 
Right, let's head on down. Like I said, complete the triangle. And if the colour of this changes, we'll know that the other one has died. Is it? Ten, well, seven minutes past six in game. Half two in real world time. Almost big stretch. Ah. Mm. Yeah, this is a, a sturdy, solid gun. Good for most things that you'll find. Uh, it's got a nice magazine size. Five rounds is more than enough that you'll need to shoot whatever you're shooting at. Uh, it, it doesn't take too long to go from one shot to the next. Uh, I don't know what the, the name for that is. Uh, thank you so much, Shaka, for the hydrate. Seems we've picked up a little bison feed zone. It's obviously where that bison who was panicking that we didn't even see <laughs> came from. Um... Just mark this up so. Yeah, we'll head back. We're sort of at an odd angle to the wind, which is fine. As long as we're not going too much with the winds, that's the main main issue. We're not covering too much of the same ground. I might actually stop by this water source on the way. I don't know if anyone's drinking right now. But I mean, it, just on the off chance, and it's always a nice open area anyway, around the shore. Been here before. Who did I find here? I found red deer here in the morning. I wonder where that second shot did go. Okay. Someone is around. There. Hello. Phenomenal. Oh, and we have a curse in the chat! Hi there, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are having a very productive day. I've got uh, three out of my five radioactive boars, you can see down at the bottom left there, harvested today. I thought I was only going to get one, and I followed them for a bit. I managed to pick off another one, which was lucky. And I just saw a random pig on the other side of like a stream. And shot that one, and that was also one of our, our five that we need to get, which is even more lucky. <laughs> uh, that was a pig. Oh my goodness, and thank you so much to our team for gifting that, that sub to Kirsten. Sorry for squealing in the middle of that sentence as well. Um, that's very generous of you, and, and Kirsten, I hope you enjoy your sub. Make sure you go and rar in all the right places. Uh, phenomenal. You had a very unproductive day. You think you just need a few days to be unproductive. That's very fair. I could definitely do with a couple of rest days. I've been headlong doing arts for the, uh, the upcoming D&D stream that I'm doing with Shaka and Chesko and a bunch of people. Uh, so I do not feel like I've had a lot of time to rest. This pig. I don't think that pig is coming somehow. I think we were remarkably unsuccessful in attracting the pig. Which is a shame, but I didn't see how far away it was, so it might have actually been out of range of our caller anyway. Anyone down on the lake side? Don't 
Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, Jeebus. Okay. That pig is definitely in range. Jack was also good by everyone. You're ready for coffee with friends. I witnessed... I, I assume you mean you will not be having any co coffee. Which... I think it's a very sensible decision of you. Uh, but enjoy your friends, nonetheless. Uh, we will not be going on too much longer. We've got about 20 minutes left of stream time. Okay, pig is coming. Pig is coming. I hear, I hear pretty footsteps. I hear little trotters. There, pig. There might be a closer pig. I hear, I hear other footsteps. There is a closer pig. No, 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 wrong button, wrong button. That was a naff shot. That was a naff shot. Okay, we'll see if we can catch the fleeing pigs. Oh god, they're moving way too fast. No catching the fleeing pigs for me. My goodness. Okay. But one pig. Ah! I shot it a little bit far back. That's a shame. That's a shame. Right in the butt. Yep. I don't know whether whether best place to shoot a pig is in terms of like not damaging the meat, because obviously the game models the best place to shoot as the place that does the least damage to the or the least harm to the pig in terms of killing it quickly. Um, but like, I don't, I don't know which bit. I mean, you, you eat pretty much all of a pig, so I imagine wherever you shoot it, you're putting a hole in something that someone's gonna eat. Artist, is that a radioactive pig or just a normal one? That was just a normal one. The radioactive pigs are one specific herd. They're up here, uh, and last time we found them like there-ish. Um, but I think they're they're ones that spawn in that area. Possibly they're, they're specific ones that spawn for the quest in that area, or maybe there's just any pig that happens to spawn in that area. Because the third one we shot outside the area. That was after we'd followed the, 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 the whole herd as a group from that middle point. Uh, from, from, from that middle point. So we shot the, that, the, the pig we shot, the third pig we shot was like up here. There's a road, dear. Oh, you are quite far away, aren't you? I'm just gonna put my torch and get out my other binoculars because it's getting dark. Hey, little road, dear. I didn't see you for very long. Oh, 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 someone was there. There you are. Hi. Oh, you silly thing. You didn't mark, didn't didn't give me a range ping. Got him. Phenomenal. Uh, Kill says head. Head is probably the best part of the pig to shoot, not to waste me. Oh yeah, of course. Silly. Most people eat pig heads. I think people do eat pig heads, but like, <clears throat> not commonly. Most people, as a rule, don't like to eat things that look at them. <laughs> oh, pigs! Hello. Three, one... Level four pig... Okay, you're a bit far. Little level four piggy. Ugh. I 
definitely need to stay still at this range. Or I can just follow them, I guess. You're the level 4 over there. You're a solid 200 meters away, which is a really awkward distance. Because it's just far that there's far enough that there's noticeable bullet drop from a 150 meter zero, but definitely not far enough for a 300 meter zero. And uh, pigs are a really awkward shape as well. They are like the perfectly bad shape for getting a front-on shot. Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit it. The question is, did I hit it well? Yes! The answer is yes, I hit that pretty solidly. Apparently, which is nice. Uh, who says, Hammy Dave? to get them somewhere. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I had forgot. I had allowed myself to forget. Oh, we're back here. That's nice. I'm gonna tag this and that before I go pick up that pig body. <clears throat> Never forget says Boom Boom. I think he's I think he's Lord Hammy Dave now, right? <laughs> it's very important to address him properly. Oh look, that's the big body. Well that went well. Oh hello, hello, hello. Wait, hang on, are you in the middle of the oh, middle of okay. No 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 stay still, stay still. Ah I'm a fool, I'm a fool. You are fleeing, fleeing. Okay, I'll go for this one then. No, stay still. Stay still, you little swine, literally. Okay. I think that was another solid shot. Might have been a little high again. I'll have to see. Oh, you're a gold rank pig. Very nice. Okay. Yes, we got that pig as well. Amazing. Oh yeah. I'm just, I'm amazed those pigs are actually like still happy to hang out considering where I was. That is a road deal. Where are you? Okay, I can afford to put a shot. I know, I know they're so noisy. They're so noisy. Oh, this was the wrong gun! Ah, the, I need the other gun for Rodia. Oh, I'm a numpty. That's why I've got the Solokin, because it goes down to, to tier 3. Oh, what a fool I am! Oh, hello. It's a level 4 fellow deer over there. Oh no, that's definitely too close to shoot. Um, right. Are you pig? You are pig. Fantastic. <laughs> Noisy IRL as well. I When I went up to York for IFDIV, there were loads and loads of geese there. It's like a huge thing on their campus. And I, I can't say that I thought they were obtrusively noisy, the same way geese are noisy in this game. Oh, 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 a reward. Oh, wow, nice. Harvest wildlife down without using any weapon actions. Yeah, no, I only got one and only by accident for that. <laughs> I suppose I could. I could do the, the goose hunt. I reckon I can, I can no scope geese with a. Uh... You are very far away. 
Can you come closer? Yeah, actually, that's great. Can you do that? Amazing. Phenomenal. If I do say so myself, that was that I'm I'm that was good shooting. Sorry for blowing my own horn. This was a fantastic shot with the completely wrong gun. Oh what a what a, a dafty I am. I should really get away from this area now because I've shot so I've shot so many things in this area, I'm starting to get rid of existing hunting pressure that was also in this area. That's how much stuff I've shot down here. Uh. All right, chat. We got ten minutes left to stream. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick—not a proper poll, but a lightning post your responses in the chat kind of a poll. Uh, do you want me to go up and see if I can find any more of these boars, which may or may not glow in the dark, or do you want me to see if I can do some some of my goose hunting? Over at my Canada Goose location. Which which would you prefer? Which would excite you and entice your taste buds more? Casting is a vote for Goose. Boom 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 is a vote for Radium Boars. Um, well, before I do either of those things, I'm going to see what that means over there. Um, oh, another nice gold double lung. From 75 meters, that is going to be among the longest distance bow shots I've ever gotten. Um, we're all tied up. Anyone else around in chat wants to break a tie? Otherwise, I'll flip a coin for it. Oh my gosh, moon. Oh, I was gonna say, look at the moon. You can't look at the moon well. Chromis is a. Oh, hi, Seriochromis again. Yeah. <laughs> There's a vote for goose. Chromis says, if it ties, just do whatever's closer. Well, they are, cunningly, almost right next to each other. Because <laughs> here's the geese, and here's the pigs. I reckon from me, the goose is very lightly closer. But uh, I think it's much of a muchness. It's a fast travel to the location either way. Oh, and there's more pigs. Hi, pigs. I'm sorry, but I'm going to probably wreck your day a bit more. Depends. Where are you? Yeah, I'm going to wreck your day a bit more. Sorry, pigs. Uh, you're a level 2. Okay, you're a level 2. Are you behind a wall? I actually can't tell. I think you're behind a wall. No, you're not behind the wall, but there's another one in front of you. You're behind another pig. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot you behind that other pig. Oh, maybe if the other pig moves out of the way. Perfect. Right. We'll run after this pig. Pick that up. And then unless there's something sort of just immediately right next to us. We'll go and do some peace, I guess, because that's two to one. The good news is, for Boom Boom, is that we will be doing the radio Radium Boars next time anyway, because it is a story quest. Uh, and I guess it'll probably still be dark, so we still might see if they glow in the dark. Can't see anything. <laughs> Oh, hello. If, if that stopped in a place we can hit it, we might go to that next and, and not do the geese or the boars. I don't think it's going to though, and I'm not, I'm not comfortable in my ability to hit that. Oh, this pig might be coming back there. Hello. Oink. <laughs> Moving away. I'm 
going away about as fast as that bloody deer was. <sighs> I haven't been able to tempt them with my my pig call, although they've you've just stopped. Wait, did I pick up the ball that was here? I think I did. Yes, I think I did. Okay. We're just following this herd of pigs. It's kind of gruesome, actually, when when you get something like this. Like you follow a herd, and then you shoot them, and then you can see them from the spot, the next spot, and you shoot them again. This one's gone a little bit further. Only a little bit though. So there's the body. I hear geese. I see no sky geese. So they could be land geese. No, they're, they're sky geese, they float away. Okay. Where did that pick? Okay, I'm fairly confident that the rest of the pigs have now moved on. And we can go and shoot geese for five minutes. Actually, will there still be geese need zones up there? I don't have any geese need zones on my thing there. So there might not be geese there anymore. We'll find out. Fantastic. Exactly what I hoped. Let's grab this on our radar. Oh, it's already on our radar. And do a little fast travel. I have no fast travels nearby. Did I take down the tent? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna quad bike over to try and get there in time. We might run the smidgen late. <laughs> Turns out it's, I, I I thought I had a tent right next to it, but I don't. Or maybe I did and I pulled it down. Who knows. I also don't know if taking a quad bike there will work. It might scare away all the geese. Right, request a quad bike. Oh, that's not the colour I asked for, but okay. Gotta turn this right down for you guys, because the quad bike is tremendously loud. Also turning it down for me. Uh, how do I get out this way? Okay, okay, don't crash. Oh, that's... that's the sea. <laughs> uh, ha, ba, ba, ba. I need to find a way across the water. Oh, I am across the water, okay. Rabbits. You only ever hear rabbits when you're on your quad bike. Oh. Oh! Oh god, we hit one! How'd I get off? Five. Rabbit. There was a rabbit. We, we ran over the rabbit with her quad bike. No, I do not think I shot it. I think I shot its, its hole. No. Blast. Blast. We were so close there. Because <laughs> there's a way of hunting. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, we, we even caught sight of it in our sights. I just didn't quite manage to get it properly. That's a shame. Ah, okie doke. Hold on over. Ow. Oh, that's a tree. Actually, that might be two trees. <laughs> Ah. Well, those were some geese. Can I run, please? Thank you. 
so it seems a little quiet. I uh, may or may not be geese here. Once I get in the thing. You see, I've, I've, I've set up all these decoy geese to attract in the real geese. Oh, and I don't want to dismantle it, I want to enter it. Right, hang on. I'm going to put the volume back up so you can hear the game properly. I'm going to put my volume back up so I can hear the game properly. There are geese. Oh, I don't have a geese, goose core on me, do I? Oh, what a fool I am! Oh, I don't know if this will work without a goose caller. We'll have to see. I also don't have a shotgun. I might be the worst goose hunter in history. If I'm honest with you. This might be the most scuffed attempt to shoot geese that you've ever seen. Because they're all going to fly overhead and they're not going to come down. And if they do come down, I'm not going to have... I'm not going to have a shotgun to shoot them with. <laughs> I mean, the good news is there are loads of geese here. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god. What a numpty. What a numpty. <laughs> the best way to kill a goose is with a knife! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I think this might be a scarf. I've got no that I've got no way of calling down all of the geese. Oh, there's a goose. Hello. I did it! I killed one! I officially did a goose hunt! <laughs> Are you proud of me, chat? You shouldn't be! <laughs> right, I'm just gonna pick this guy up. Hello! Thank you for just randomly landing there. Oh, wow! That was a that was an everything shot. <laughs> My goodness. Pick this up, get back in. See if I can convince any more geese to land. Geese necks seem so fragile. And they're quite stiff and, and hard, aren't they? Got back in time for the next lot of geese to come over. I wonder. I kind of wonder if getting in this spawns geese. It would be very silly, objectively speaking, if it did. But the the geese did come back right as I got back in. Tremendously helpful to have a good score right now. <laughs> oh dear. Just gotta keep scanning around and see if any of them just land on their own. Well, there's a goose. 300 meters that way. There is a pig. I suppose I could shoot the pig. see the pig particularly well. I think if I... no, I cannot see the pig if I sit up. I think I got another one there. There was a roader over there as well, apparently. Okay, we did get another goose. I'm I'm counting that as a successful goose hunt. <laughs> we shot two geese with none of the correct equipment. 
<laughs> Hello. A silver brown hybrid. That one we only got it in the back. <laughs> says Kirsten. Alright, I'm gonna go sit down and then I'm gonna go take us on a little raid, I think. You'll can watch you can you'll can watch for geese while I'm while I'm in this little thing as well. Uh, because I have to open up Twitch. Uh and I want you guys to not go anywhere while I find someone for us to raid. Do 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 my goodness. It's been a fun day! I, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed when I was doing it on Wednesday, and I really enjoyed it doing it in front of all of your lovely faces today. Ah, oh, now let me see. Who is live? Ooh, Vizdi is live doing some time to more. I, I, I have been excited to see the progress of time to more. As it, uh... As it has gone, come along. So let's go... Ooh, I do make fun. Let's go say hi to Vizdi. Alright, you all know the drill. Visty is a one for beans. You're a one for beans. You're a match made in heaven. Oh, you're not entirely sure how long Viz Vi is going for? Uh oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Good point, because we've raided into Viz before when Viz has, uh... <laughs> Viz has been raiding out the cells. Normally I like to sort of assume that once... Once, uh, I've gone over the hour mark, people are gonna be... gonna be happy to keep... to stay around. Oh, I've got ads, so I can't see. <laughs> I do hear geese, though. Do I see geese landed? Not yet. Okay. Alright, okay, this. Uh, that might be helpful, Kirsten, if that's okay. Because I, I obviously have them muted right now. <laughs> Give me time to scan for more geese. <laughs> it looks like Viz is still going strong. So I think I'm quite happy to raid in. At this stage. It's the awkward dichotomy of like, I would love to listen in. <laughs> oh, very inconspicuous, says Trance Rights. <laughs> what did you say? Um, you are very inconspicuous. Okay, fair enough. I believe you. I'm happy to believe you. If two people say you're very inconspicuous, oh my god, that goose is right there. Bloody pheasant noise! About 20 minutes. I think 20 minutes is a fine time for us to raid in. So let's go say hi to Visti properly. Uh, as the rain settles in and the geese fly away, I'll pick those geese up after stream. Um, but you guys uh, must yourself fly away. Go have a good day. Go have a good weekend, in fact, because I will not be seeing you until Monday. Monday stream time is going to be 1 p.m. British time, uh, and we're going to be doing some Dungeons and Dragons. We got a lovely, I've got a lovely crew of people lined up to do some Dungeons and Dragons with. I'm tremendously excited. I've been preparing preparing for this stream for literally two months, uh, so I'm super excited. Uh, I hope you guys are all excited and will be there as well. Um, it's going to be a, a, a good time. It's a one shot I've won before, but obviously never on stream. This is my first time doing on stream D and D, so I'm very nervous. Uh, encouraging words on the day will be much appreciated if I can just just fish for them a little bit right now. Uh, but yeah, make sure you're around for that. Uh, and if not, you can catch it after it happens on my YouTube channel, which is down in the description. Uh, drop a follow if you haven't, uh, and thank you so much to the people who subscribed as well today. Who subscribed today? Um, Artie gifted the sub today, and Stereo Crimmer subscribed today as well. Your wonderful, generous beats. Uh, and yeah, stuff like that helps this happen. Uh, oh, I, 
accidentally pinned a message from Boom Boom, but there's a message saying you got this, and you all you all do got this as well. Uh, you guys go and enjoy your raid. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.